Okay, coffee crew, need some help. D2 brew still came out pretty bitter, and I think it's over brewing. Thoughts? I am fully capable of answering this question. James Hoffman is great, but wouldn't you rather listen to a redhead? That didn't land. We're gonna talk about what to do when your brew tastes like I'm gonna give you some clues on things you can check on to make sure that you're on the right track. Let's go. So, when you say that your coffee is tasting better, there are a few things that you could take a look at. One is gonna be your grind size. The grind size that you choose for your coffee is not going to prevent solubles from extracting and dropping into your cup, but it does affect the rate of speed at which that occurs. So a coarser grind size is going to have a slower rate of soluble extraction from the salt walls of the coffee bean. And alternatively, a finer coffee grind is going to extract those solubles at a faster rate. Two is going to be your brew time. The longer that you brew your coffee, the more you're pushing into the territory of carbs and fibers. And that usually results in smoky, astringent, and drying bitter taste. So in order to push back on that timeline, we wanna cut off the contact time that we have with our coffee and the water that we're brewing with, correct? So if your brew time is about three minutes, maybe you can bring it back a little bit. Understanding that not all coffee machines have that kind of technology to adjust your brew time, alternatively, you might wanna play with your ratio. Now figure, when you're adding coffee into your dose, you are then increasing the amount of acidic solubles you can extract in your cup, right? What this does is it helps balance out those roasty and smoky components. The more water that we push into a dose of coffee, the more we're going to be taking from it. So a smaller ratio tends to help curb the roasty and smoky flavors that you might get with coffee that's tasting bitter. When I was working as a barista, I dealt with some coffees that tasted really dark. They had a very dark, smoky profile, which is a beautiful thing, but I wanted to make it more balanced and not so smoke up front. So what I would do is I would add coffee into the dry dose of ground coffee that I would use in my recipe. So say if I were dialing in a recipe at 20 grams in to 320 grams out, I would increase to maybe 22 grams. So again, just to reiterate, when your coffee is tasting bitter, you should probably coarsen your grind size. Take a look at your ratio and consider tightening it up to make a smaller ratio. Three, decrease your brew time and see how that affected the flavor. I hope this helps. I know I'm babbling, but I'm really passionate about this stuff and I thought I'd jump in and offer some advice. Again, I love James Hoffman, he's bae, but it's time for the girls to take over.